Hey guys, I was going to react to this video, but now that I give it a little more thought, I probably shouldn't. I'll just try to give you the best explanation that I can. But there was a young girl that I found out. She was a YouTuber. She unfortunately passed away from anorexia complications with it. Um, and her treatment. Um... The issue I have is how they treated it. So she said that she was um, being, she would, she, there was one meal, she, there were a couple, like she had her meals, um, she was at the clinic at this point, she was having her meals and stuff this one day, and then she had her meal before she went to sleep. And she noticed her blood sugars were starting to drop, which they were good drops. They were good drops. Now, there was one problem. It dropped down too low. Then, so long story short, they had to have a paramedics come and get her blood sugar back up now i she never said they were giving her any exogenous insulin so i don't think she had that problem then the next day she had a hyper she was following the plan to a t and then they checked her blood sugars and she had a hyper incident so they're like we got to bring this down we got to bring this down and it took forever for her blood sugars to fall okay unless i'm wrong i don't think the blood sugars should be that radical so this is in millimoles so i don't know how millimoles work because you guys measure it differently in in the states she was 18 during her hyper episode it took her all night to drop from 18 to 6 why should going all the way up to 18 be normalized Why don't you want to just get the the sugars normal, like like a, a steady or a somewhat steady? One of the meals they fed her was bread and granola. I don't know if it was the same like altogether. From what it sounded like, they don't they didn't even feed her meat because they were feeding her like soy yogurts and things like that. I'm sorry, what? No, why would you feed her that? Anybody that, why? I have this horrible feeling in my gut and I could be wrong. That they were the reason she died when she did. I don't think she would have died so soon had they at least tried to keep her blood sugars steady. But they didn't. They were willing to let it go up to 18 and keep, keep watch on it, keep dropping, and she keeps going up, going down, going up, going down because she was never eating foods that would keep the insulin steady. No fats, animal fats, no red meat whatsoever, no cheese, no eggs, 
I didn't hear anything about cheese or eggs. I don't think she would have had that much of a radical spike eating mostly meat, fatty meat, eggs, cheese, and a little bit of fruit here and there. Here and there meaning, you know, she has a bit of an apple at this this time, maybe maybe an orange here, maybe berries here. I think that fruit when you're overweight like or underweight like that, like she was, I think that's very helpful. It helped me gain my seven pounds that I, because I was only 78 when I was, before I went keto. And it helped me gain seven pounds back that I had lost. And sometimes I can get it a little bit above that. And sometimes I, I can't, I'm trying to get to 90. I'm trying to get to 90 because from what I've read, 90 for my body height is normal. Is, is, is an okay weight. I still have 10 more to go, pretty much. I know I kind of revealed my body weight in, in one of my other videos, but it's still the same. Um, it's It fluctuates. But yeah, um, she did this. She did everything that they told her to. And yet... It made everything worse. She kept getting worse. Why? Because they were not feeding her the right things. You're not going to gain weight with no cholesterol in your body. You need the cholesterol in your body. You need the fat in your body. Fat along with the carbs is what helps you gain weight. If you don't have any fat stores in your body, you're not going to be able to build up your fat stores. I'm sick and tired of this. I really hope they didn't do this deliberately. I really hope they didn't. I have a bad feeling they might have. And that they said, oh, let's feed her the worst diet possible so that we don't have to deal with her for long. There are sick people out there that are like that. They played the empathy card with her. They made it seem like they cared about her. But what if they didn't? They, they probably played nice with everybody she knew. Everybody that visited her. Maybe they're not bad people. Maybe they aren't. But how would I know? How would anyone know, really? How would they know? It's sick. Because they couldn't have done at least five minutes of research on how to keep the insulin steady. Because the foods they were giving her definitely weren't. You want to keep your insulin steady. Even if you're underweight you can gain weight eating a high fat diet you need to up your carbs more a little just a little bit more i was eating kind of fruit paleo like i didn't have grains on my paleo diet i was eating fruit i gain weight i don't lose past that point either i didn't i never lost i fluctuate normally like like most people do but i don't like fluctuate between really dangerous levels of weight like I used to, right? It's so sickening to me how they didn't just research into this. I feel like she would still be here today if they had just done more research. Proper research. Really dove, dove down deep. Dove down deep. So, and her blood results, they did some blood 
on one of those days too that she was there and it was bad. Um, why didn't you guys give her infusions? Mineral infusions? Like a mineral drip? Hmm? Why didn't you give her iron and stuff? You could have done it really slowly. So that she wouldn't have been, you know, because... Yes, I, I've noticed that you can react, but... The thing is, you have to... Give it, you have to take it really slowly. Um, and then the reaction won't be as likely. The body reacts because of how fast it's going in. Okay. She would need it really slow. Good. You would take it slow. Why didn't you give her that? I could understand, oh, it, it wouldn't have mattered. She would have still really badly reacted because of her condition. Maybe. Okay. But the insulin thing, the insulin shouldn't be going that nuts. She obviously produces insulin and quite a, quite a bit of it. But you fed her wrong, okay? You fed her wrong. And I think you owe her family an apology. I think you all owe her family and friends and everything that everyone that that cared about her you owe her an apology you owe you owe them rather an apology <clears throat> you do you owe them all an apology every single one of them okay i my condolences go to the family friends and uh, may you rest in peace and uh, I really hope that you will find your forever home where you'll be forever happy. You'll be able to play again. You'll have your you have your your healthy body and you'll have, you'll be full of energy, full of life, no more pain, no more IVs, no more nothing. Just freedom. I'm not, this is, this, you know, I'm not one to fully assume things, but when you don't take the time to research stuff, that's when I really think you're doing a terrible job as a physician, as a dietitian, whatever you are. I think if you don't research the problem for your own clients thoroughly, 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 thoroughly. Research, research, research. Search, search, search. Day in, day out. Keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. Read the studies. Run them through your head, right? Does this actually make sense? Does this not make sense? Is there something wrong with with what I'm reading here? You got to read these things. Okay? Okay? Cool. So... The, the job for your next patient that might end up being like her. Lots of fatty meat, red meat. Yes, red meat. I don't care what you think. Red meat all the way. Humans grew up on that for the last 250 plus thousand years. Even your people back then, I'm sure they all did too. You all had people living back then or you wouldn't be here today. Right now. So, red meat, lots of fatty red meat. Fatty fat, 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 fat. Okay, cheese, eggs, with low fiber fruits. Maybe small amounts of berries if they can tolerate them. Apples. Peeled apples. Okay, P 
peeled apples. Maybe make some like carb like chilies, but don't don't put beans in it. If they can tolerate any kind of vegetables, uh if they can tolerate sauces like tomatoes and stuff like that, tomato sauces and and maybe a few small vegetables, cook them down as much as you can so that they, they're not too hard. Give them like applesauce maybe too, things like that. Um, but you want to keep the insulin stable. So when you give them carbs, balance that out with a fat and protein. So when you have eggs, so the first breakfast of the day should be eggs with some salt on it. Then the next meal should be, let's just say a small thing of applesauce, right? But fresh. We want to go whole foods. So freshly made applesauce. Okay. Then I would suggest that because, you know, fiberless carbs in particular are better. Then cheese. Or even if they're hungry enough for a full meal, have like make them fatty, fatty red meat, like a ground beef, fatty ground beef with uh, veggies. Um, like it will have, it would have like, or just, just fatty ground beef with some spices if you want, or, you know, something like that. Then later after that, you feed them like an orange or an apple, another apple. Or, well, orange would be better because they just had an apple, right? Like orange or a clementine, right? If they can tolerate these things, do this. Blueberries, you know, strawberries, blackberries, if they like them. Maybe a couple nuts or something, if they can handle them. Um, Anything they can handle, any carb they can handle, just feed them these carbs after each protein meal. So car, uh, fat protein, then carbs, fat and protein, then carbs, fat and protein, then carbs, fat and protein. That's how you want to do it. Okay. So, and I'll give you a timeline too. So if you're going to feed them eggs at 8 a.m., wake them up in the morning and feed them some eggs, boiled eggs, scrambled, doesn't matter. 10 or maybe even 11 o'clock, feed them the apple or applesauce or whatever. Then one or two, if they like, if you really need to space it out that much or, or, you know, you can do it every two hours too. Eggs, then, then at 10, 10 a.m. feed them the, feed them the apple. 12, some cheese or like some ground hamburger, ground beef, fatty ground beef. Then two, another carb source. Then four, um, or maybe even five, you could have some cheese. Maybe seven o'clock, a little bit of carbs. But you want to spread it out. And then nine o'clock, maybe another snack of cheese or something. Something like that. But their diet should be fatty, like high fat, moderate protein. And moderate carbs or you know I don't you know or even have make them drinks carb drinks with honey or something honey is very very fattening I should know because when I eat anything with honey I inflate immediately I grow I gain two pounds just inflammation with the first dose of honey you my weight jumps up yep So that should help you. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, Again, my condolences to the family of this beautiful girl. She sounded really nice. I I think I would have really liked her if I had really gotten to know her. Uh, there's There's not many people from her country that are actually nice. I only know of a select few that actually are. A lot of these people tend to be very uh, rude. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that I think, uh, 
because I know I know of a couple people that are rude too from that place. So yeah, uh, so I hope you enjoyed these these. I hope you liked my tips. Remember, the fat and the protein is is priority even when you're underweight. Just try to add a, a lot more. Like, don't make it quite keto. Make it higher carb than keto. Okay, a little higher carb, and base it around fruits. If you can, or honey, something with honey in it, right? Base it around that, and you should be fine. Okay, that's how you get someone to gain weight, and keep the insulin stable as well. Even better, what you want to do is eat cheese and then eat the the carb source, or. Eat the carb source and the cheese. Might help. Might help. Okay? That's what you want to do. That is how you do it. That's how I did it. That's how I gained the seven pounds back. And now I just struggle to kind of keep above, you know, 80 right now. Because that's ultimately where I want to get to above 80. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.